Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore a new development by Gina AI. So Gina AI has created Reader. They have come up with a Reader API that basically helps you, you know, fetch data from any given URL. Okay, so for example, if you have a website or if you have anything on the internet and you want to basically fetch the data and not only fetching the data, but fetching the data in a way that you can pass that as an input to a large language model. And I will tell you why this is really, really important and critical. And all credit goes to, you know, Gina AI. I'm already a huge fan of Gina AI because I have been following them and using their services, products, even, you know, pre chat GPT era, because earlier they were using with, you know, bird based models and things like that. And the biggest problem right now, if you see guys, when it comes to developing LLM is the probably the format of data. Uh, because garbage in garbage out is the philosophy we call it Gijo or gigo whatever you call it garbage in and garbage out so basically what that what does that mean now if your data is not that good if the quality of data when i say data is data has the abundance of knowledge and information inside it how we pass the data is the uh, is the game guys now if you look at the large language models not all the llms are capable to you know understand messy or unstructured data for example gpt4 can understand you know uh, unstructured or really messy data you know in comparison to if you look at an open source LLM, LLM like for example Mistral 7b or 5 1.2 or 1.5 or whatever so what reader does it basically goes on that URL gets the inf gets all the messy data and structured makes it structured probably in a markdown format or whatever we'll see that in a bit so you can use that as an input to large language model to perform tasks like summarizations question answering insights generations and things like that and this is going to be really critical you know for us because now we already are trying to solve you know the the development more on the efficient function calling and then we are also looking at right now on how to pass the better quality data if we crack these problems trust me the the fun will be even more i believe when it comes to llm based developments now what the best thing about this development by Gina AI guys or the piece of I'll say this is an innovation to be honest because I come from an innovation background that's a great innovation by Gina and and you know uh, the, the great thing about this is that it's in Apache 2.0 so you can use this commercially in free you do not have to pay anything to Gina AI and now let's you know I don't want to you know talk a lot let's jump into it and see if you look at on my screen it says reader you know Gina AI slash reader they have a github repository i also have cloned the repository i'm running it so you need if you want to run this app okay uh, app like this i'll show you then you, need, you can go and clone this repository you can see the repository over here it says gina ai slash reader convert any url to an llm friendly input with a simple prefix you just have to pass the url as a prefix i'll just show that you know with a base endpoint of gina r dot gina dot ai slash and then goes your endpoint now if you look at this here guys you know it says gina ai reader and you have to come down if you want to run this locally you know if you want to use the if you want to reproduce this uh locally or anywhere else you need node v18 you need node version 18 and then you need fire firebase cli these are the two dependencies that you need you know to run this now you can follow this and run it i already have you know cloned it over here you can see this is where i have cloned in my desktop reader main and i'm running it locally as well but i'll quickly show you because we'll also have a follow-up video on building this as an app. We'll see how we can leverage that as a question answering or a summarization app. That's the upcoming video. Now, if you look at here, it's called Reader. On the website, we have convert any URL to an LLM friendly input with a simple prefix. Experience improved output for your agent and rack systems at no cost. And this is important because we are saying that the future of AI is agentic. You know, we'll see a lot of agents working in tandem. We have Autogen. We have a lot of other development that has happened. And you would, would have seen, you know, uh, a very hyped innovation like Devine or Devika or whatever. You know, a lot of agents are trying to work. They're all built on, by the way, GPT-4 wrappers or whatever. But the innovation is amazing. You know, the way that it works and try to solve complex tasks is commendable. Now, if you look at over here, it says for your agent and rack systems, they have the demo. You can also try it out and you can also use the API. I'll show you both. You know, if you come down, look at a simple architecture, a very high level architecture of the, of the basically of the workflow. You will have an example URL that can be your 
LinkedIn documentation, that can be your Hugging Fish documentation, that can be your any website. You know, you want to fetch some website and summarize the website, you can do that. You just have to pass like this. So it has a base URL that's called HTTPS r.gina.ai and then you pass your URL as a prefix. Simple. You don't have to do anything, guys. And then you get a LLM friendly text. You can find it out over here. And you can pass that to, you know, Gemini or you know, OpenAI, Anthropic, Mistral, Meta, Llama, whatever. Okay, you can just pass it to them. And and Web has abundance of data. Now imagine getting up Wikipedia, Reddit, Twitter, you know, whatever. You know, you can just bring those here. Now it says try the demo. Let's first try the demo, and then we'll see how we can use a C URL or a request module in Python to do that. Now here you can pass. And I am passing, you can see State of AI. So let me just pass this live. This is a website that you have. It's called State of AI Report 2023. You know, it's it's really fantastic. You know, you should read this report if you haven't read it yet. They make some predictions and they also compare the previous year's prediction as well. And they create some report. And you can find it out over here. Now, if I have to summarize this, it's already a small website. I just wanted to show you quickly. You can take a larger one as well. You just fetch it over here, paste it over here. Once you enter your URL, you can see this gets appended as well. So this this base URL gets appended, and it also has a streaming mode. So if you're uh, if you have a large website, then it, you should have a streaming mode because it will take time. So if you have a stream responses, you no know, people will be engaged uh, from an UX standpoint. Now, if you click on fetch content, you can see how fast is that. It it gives you title, state of AI report, and let me just get that. Okay, here. So Control C, and I'm gonna open this probably in vs code let me just do that okay and i will do a control shift n and you can see i was running reader locally but i have kept that for the upcoming video how we're going to leverage that in a probably in an app okay and let's get a new file let's get a new text file guys here and i'll just do an alt j now if you look at this this is how it looks like uh let me just now title state of ai report this gives you a title this gives you an url source it gives you in a markdown format which is one of the best format to deal with large language model from an input standpoint also and from an output standpoint as well for a post pre for if you are doing a post -pre processing of the outputs now you can see it gives you all the reports all the key things blah 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 and you can find it out over here let me just go back on the website here try the demo and you can also probably pose a question it basically shows you okay here but this you have to do this in in your app through an, any any llms like gpt4 or whatever okay but you can ask this kind of question summarize the content in two sentences if you take any website and you are passing it without a reader for example you, you don't have guarantee that you, your code will be able to fetch it see we have used tools like you know uh uh, beautiful soup or LangChain has a lot of agents or tools basically a lot of tools which gives you uh, the website content right and then you pass it but probably that might not be that structured in a way that an LLM will probably entertain that right so if you look at this here it says summarize the content in two sentences it takes it and it gives you this summary of report analyzes key developments and it gives you fantastic so this is what this is how you can try it out demo guys and now they also have given a reader API and it says Reader API is free as of now at least and I hope it will be free forever. It says it, it requires no credit card or API secret. It will not consume your token code. This is fantastic and you can just pass out here. So you can use this in Postman or wherever but I am showing you here in the how to do it in Python. If you look at here, I'll just remove. It has a base endpoint. You can see this is your base endpoint. I'm using requests module and then you have an input URL. You can replace this input URL to anything else. Like for example, if you want to get but if you look at LangChain, this will take a bit of time to get that because this is might have images and stuff, but you can try it out as well. I've tried it, it was working fine. Now you can pass your URL here. This will be your input URL. And then you can you have the full URL, you pass that, you have an header, which is an event streaming, and then you pass that as a request dot get and get the output. You can see it, it basically has given me the output over here. Event data. Uh, ignore the below one, which was earlier I was trying. But this one is the one which has given me the output, which is fantastic. Now you can, once you have that as uh, structured data that you have from a web URL or a website, you can pass that to uh, a large language model to generate output. Okay, so quickly you can see this is where I also testing it out, some of the examples, and I will give the link in description, and also you can try it out. And 
probably I'll give this as a gist. You can try that out. Build applications, guys. I'm, I'm excited for Gina, you know, Reader API. I'm going to build a couple of solutions and I will create some videos on that as well, the upcoming videos. Now, let me know what you are doing with Gina Reader API and what's your thoughts on this amazing innovation by Gina. Basically, see, even if you want, if you code this, if you are a very good developer or a programmer, basically a programmer, you will write the code to do a similar stuff, but but not everybody is capable of doing that. And if you look at how simple it is, you just pass that as a prefix and you get a structured data and you can pass that as an LLM through a lang chain, chain or whatever you get the output. So the building applications are now easier guys, because when you are building agents, you have to deal with a lot of, you know, these kind of innovation or capabilities to uh, fetch data, parse data and things like that. So that's why it's really important. And I will give you the gist, try it out. Let me know your findings in the comment box. If you have any questions, thoughts, feedbacks, also let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content I'm creating, please hit the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel guys. That helps me, you know, to create more such videos in your future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.